So I have to bring the contacts further close. Oh shit! Hi everyone, and welcome to Electrology. Today, we're going to be talking about electrical safety. Electrical safety is important for everyone, from homeowners to electricians, to anyone who works with electricity in any way. Electricity is a powerful force, and it's important to know how to use it safely to avoid accidents and injuries. There are many different types of electrical hazards, but some of the most common include shock. Shock occurs when an electrical current passes through the body. This can happen if you touch an exposed wire or outlet, or if you are using an electrical appliance that is not properly grounded. Electrocution. Electrocution is a serious type of shock that can cause death. It occurs when a large amount of electrical current flows through the body. Arc flash. An arc flash is a sudden burst of intense light and heat that can occur when an electrical current jumps from one conductor to another. Arc flashes can cause severe burns and other injuries. Fire. Electrical fires can start when an electrical current overheats wires or other electrical components. This can happen due to overloading circuits, faulty wiring, or damaged electrical appliances. There are many things you can do to stay safe around electricity. Here are a few tips. Personal protective equipment. The first line of defense is wearing the right personal protective equipment, or PPE. Like safety glasses, insulated gloves, and appropriate clothing. Always use PPE designed for electrical work to protect yourself from potential harm. Risk assessment. Before starting any electrical work, it's essential to conduct a risk assessment. Identify potential hazards and take steps to mitigate them. Always turn off the power source and use lockout tagu procedures to ensure your safety. Proper tools and equipment. Using the right tools and equipment is crucial. Make sure all your tools are properly insulated and in good condition. This reduces the risk of electrical shock or short circuits. Be aware of your surroundings. Pay attention to where electrical wires and outlets are located. Avoid touching them, and be careful not to overload circuits. Use caution with electrical appliances. Make sure that all electrical appliances are properly grounded. Inspect them regularly for damage, and do not use them if they are damaged. Have your electrical system inspected regularly. A qualified electrician can inspect your electrical system for hazards and make necessary repairs. Staying up to date with local electrical codes and standards is a must. Compliance ensures that your electrical installations are safe and in line with regulations. Safe work environment. Maintaining a safe work environment is key. Keep your workspace clean, organized, and free from clutter. This reduces the risk of accidents and fires. Emergency procedures. Be prepared for emergencies. Have a well-equipped first aid kit and know what to do in case of an accident. Quick response can make all the difference. What to do if an electrical accident happens. If you or someone else is involved in an electrical accident, the most important thing is to stay calm and call for help immediately. Do not try to move the person who has been shocked, as this could worsen their injuries. If you can safely do so, turn off the power to the source of the shock. It's especially important to teach kids about electrical safety. Kids are more likely to experiment and touch things they shouldn't, so it's important to supervise them closely. Make sure that all electrical outlets are covered with outlet covers and keep electrical cords out of reach. Electrical safety is important for everyone. By following the tips, you can help to prevent electrical accidents and injuries. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you found this video informative. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos on electrology and other related topics. And don't forget to leave your feedback in the comments below.